What is up guys? Green and Pride here coming at you with another video. This is mono white aggro for brawl. Pretty simple stuff. Aggro kind of suffers in brawl because aggro likes to have a lot of play sets of very cheap, very efficient creatures, which is not possible in brawl, but we did our best. So Adeline, probably the best mono white commander, very powerful, takes over games by herself if she's left alone. We have all these tasty low end. Look at our curve. Just boom, all low end. Champion of Alms, really, really strong. Especially if you can get the other side out. Having your whole board have Ward 1 doesn't sound like it does a lot, but it really disrupts your opponent. Monk of the Open Hand, a little harder to proc. Same thing with, uh, where are you? Same thing with Clarion Spirit. These cards benefit from having play sets of very cheap creatures. So only having one of everything kind of hurts it a little bit. No big deal. Celestis, very powerful. Mana Rock, drawing cards every time it switches, very strong. Huge synergy with Gavany. Uh, spoiler alert, you are going to see a game here where Celestis and Gavany together just take over. The top end, uh, kind of meh. I don't, I've never played either one of these angels that get back creatures out of the graveyard. I'm sure they're... I haven't played any of these. Anything above Search Party Captain, I've not had a game where i played any of those. But maybe they'll, maybe they'll shine some other time, you know? Lots of exile, lots of tax. It's basically just mono white. You play out your hand, you kill things, end of story. Let's get into the first game. Going up against Azorius. This is a pretty good hand, as long as we draw a third land, we're, we're in business. Gonna put a bunch of counters on Chaplin. There's our third land, technically. It's gonna be tapped, though. So we'll have a big, meaty first striker with Ward 1. Nice. Let's look at this hand. Azorius hates having their hand touched, so let's touch their hand. And, yep. That sounds about right. Azorius do be hating their hand being touched. So hopefully this Ward 1 can block some bounce spells or something. They just go right for Vega. And, and I think I'm just going to go right for making some 1-1s. One what do I want here? I want her to be bigger. No, I just want more damage. I could make the Luminar big enough to start attacking, but I mean, Azorius, the Azorius removal is just going to be exiles and bounces. So it doesn't matter how big Luminar is, she will be exiled. She will be bounced at some point. That's a horrific play. I guess it does cost one less. That's actually not awful. If they can play a three mana spell here for two mana. So they bounce my commander. Okay. Do you want to attack? You don't want to attack. Coward. So I can play this into Maul. This might be putting too many eggs in one basket, but... So how do you feel about taking four, opponent? How do you feel about taking eight, opponent? Nope, you don't want to. You'll just take the four. That's fine. So opponent's going to have four mana. Their second spell is going to cost one less mana, which is not horrendous. Okay, they foretell. Are they accepting death? They gotta have some kind of bounce or something. Let's take an extra draw. Eh, I don't need Luminarch. Usher of the Fallen. Meh. I'll play Adeline to get that 1-1. Uh, one, one. I could play these two. Do, do I want... Well, obviously I'm gonna attack. Gonna put it on Chaplain of the Alms because it's got Ward. They gotta bounce one of these. Okay, so they destroy that. 
So they gave me a clue. Oh, this is giving me a clue. So the question do be, is that... I'm just going to crack the clue. Because that could easily be a board wipe. I don't know why they wouldn't play it. No, I guess it wasn't a board wipe. Did I do bad? It could... It was an epiphany. I did do bad. Oh, man, I did so bad. I should have played out my hand. Son of a... Pacifism. Mm, nah. I don't think we'll need pacifism. Watch them play like that giant that bounces everything now. Another Fertel card. It could technically be a board wipe. Skyclave, that's good. Um, nope, I kind of like my hand. So I'm going to Skyclave their Monk class. Maybe I should have played Dawn Guard first. Never mind. Cool. So there goes their Monk class. Actually, did I just miss Lethal? Could I just have attacked with everything and taken out their Monk in one? I guess I'll attack with everything now. I think I could have just taken out the monk and attacked with everything in one. I think I just missed it. No, that would have been bounced. So it's not as bad as it looks, everybody. Don't worry. Are they going down to one? Oh, spicy. Diversify my threats. Behold the multiverse. Okay. I'm trying to avoid a board wipe. I think I might be playing too cautiously. Because if I had just played out my hand that one turn, I would have won. So I might be playing too cautiously here. We're playing mono white aggro. We should be dumping our hand and attacking. I don't know what I'm doing. Good game. Did I still win even though I was being a coward? I still won. So you could see there, it could have gone either way. Hindsight's 2020. If I had just dumped my hand and attacked, we would have won earlier, but we still got the W. That's all that matters. All right. Mm, a lot of ramp. Not a lot to do, though. I guess it's got removal. I don't know. This hand's pretty iffy. I'm going to take the free mulligan. This is better. Against Gruul, I want some early plays. Gruul can take over the game so quick, especially with Tolvar. Oh, they mulliganed out of six. Nice. Neat. We get a flying 1-1 one -one that they have to deal with. I do kind of miss having Signet, but... Werewolf Pack Leader. Hey, hey, Werewolf Pack Leader, guess what? Nope. So you can either play your commander or you can destroy... Okay. They don't even have red to play their commander. So they're just going to take their whole turn to attack with pack leader. Which is fine by me. If that's your whole turn, that's your whole turn. They didn't attack. They know that as flying, right? So we could see a blizzard brawl here. We could see some red mana. There's the red mana. They might have a burn spell. They might have a fight spell. No blocks. Take your three damage. If they pump, that would be amazing. They don't pump. Okay. Snarling Wolf can go up to three. 
So I can play the Celestis, attack with both, and then it goes down to two mana. Ah, I should have waited. I might want to play Siegfried if they do something weird with their wolf. They could pump it and shock Adeline. Oh. Interesting. I didn't know about this. If enchanted creature is a wolf or a werewolf, unchant. Or untap. Interesting. I should have definitely... Ugh. God, what is up with me today? It's so cold out. It's like seeping into my apartment and melting my brain. I should have kept the mana open for a Sigrid. That was a mistake on my part. They trade the wolf just for a card. I guess that's good enough. I guess two cards, technically. That seems... That seems excessive. You don't want that hexproof for your commander? You don't want that hexproof for your commander. Interesting. I'll play Gavany so I can start... Getting some cards. It's going to go to Knight. So I get a free card. Thank you for changing it tonight. I will take Clarion Spirit. Start gumming up these uh, the board with some blockers. I'll draw a card. And... Honestly... Reef Survivor seems a little too slow. Who are you attacking with? Attacking with everybody. I'm going to take your Werewolf Pack Leader. Even if they get it back, at least the uh, enchantment will have fallen off. Cool. And then I'm going to say I'll block here. I could block here and make them pay the mana. Sure. I'll make them pay the mana. Having a 1-1 one -one with flying isn't going to really change anything. So if they just want to tap out Maybe I should have kept it because I'm going to be playing Paladin class. So maybe I should have kept it. But I'm going to play Clarion Spirit into Paladin class into Buffing Paladin class. You want to use your ability on Tolor? See, part of me wonders how we'd be doing if we'd kept that first hand. But we're not doing too bad. Opponent filing their taxes. You don't give any tramples, so no new cards for the opponent, finally. This is like the first turn they haven't drawn new cards. Ouchies. So they get Werewolf Pack Leader back. Return permanent card with two mana value or less. I could do that. But I'm definitely going to get down Clarion Spirit first. Paladin class. Buff Paladin class. Okay. So this is a much meatier board. I get another free look. Definitely want... The Luminarch. Monk of the Open Hand. Nah. Honestly, that wouldn't be terrible. This is only a 3-3, three, three, and I don't even have anything that good in here. Maybe that was dumb. I might just be playing hella dumb today. Definitely the Skyclave. Oh, the Gavany Dawn Guard, the opponent salty. He's like, only werewolves get to benefit from day and night. No, humans shouldn't benefit. Man, the salt went straight to his brain. 
yes, you changing the game from day to night constantly does affect the opponent too. It, it's true. Sorry, everybody who thinks it doesn't. Day and night is a simultaneous symmetrical effect. Going up against some Demir Zombies. Pretty spicy. No turn one play. Kind of annoying. I guess I can homestead courage their uh, whatever they play. Okay, they don't have a turn one play either, so we're even. Even Steven. Signet. Good draw, kinda. We have a lot of two drops already, though. I'd rather play a Luminarch. Would I rather play a Luminarch now, though, is the question. Probably not. Because that is probably a Poison the Cup. Or I guess it could be a counter. Hmm. You and... Probably you. Luminarch. Farmhand. Go get that free planes. Put it on the farmhand, because the Luminarch is obviously the uh, the target for any kind of removal. So buffing up the farmhand a little bit will be good. Plus she'll turn into a 3-3 with lifelink later. So now she'll be a 4-4. Four, four. Opponent's probably playing... Oh, that's a bummer. I love that card. That card's so good. I mean, you can attack me with all the 2-2s two you want, opponent. I'm still just going to beat you. Ian Tarrastine. So I'm going to put the counter here. Attack with both. Then play the search party captain for two, and then I should be able to flip farmhand. As long as no illegal shenanigans take place. Is that illegal shenanigans? I knew it. I said it was poison the cup. I knew it. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Mm-hmm. I told you. I'm... That's interesting that the opponent would go for the damage instead of the long-term value. Like, the Luminarch is going to be so much more damage in the long run. But whatever they want to do, that's fine. And I'm also curious that they didn't attack with their zombies. Like, even if you play your commander, and even if you make them into 3-3s, three they're still not going to be able to block. I'm still going to beat you down. I am the beatdown opponent. I am the one who's going to be all up in your business. Yeah, see, this is a terrible play. What is the point of this? Attack me with your 3-3. Three -three. See what happens. Nothing. Ooh. 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 That's hot. That is... Smexy. So I'm going to... Put this right about me. Then I'm going to put that right about me. And I'm going to attack with everything. I'm going to go, oops, didn't mean to. Didn't mean to attack with the Aspirant. Oops. Oops, not. Get your bougie ass, dumbass head looking ass out of here. Bam. You blocked one point of damage and you lost your commander for it. I hope it was worth it, opponent. They could easily have blood on the snow, though, and just blow this whole game out. Nope. Take action. Still unable to play any kind of blocker. Opponent is allergic to playing blockers. Life is short. This game is going to be short because I am beating you in the face. So I just want to immediately play this. Not really. I'm going to put this on my token. Diversify your threats. Diversify your accounts. 
Gonna put that on Sigrid. Gonna attack with everything. Opponent taking it all? No, opponent's not taking it all. Another... Okay, opponent continues not to block. Opponent allergic to blocking. Sure, make all the zombies you want. You could even turn them into a giant uh, menace token with cobble together and I'll just pacify it. So even if opponent wipes, board wipes here... I'm going to be able to just flash in the Cathar. Opponent doesn't board wipe here. Does the opponent want to attack? No? Okay, well I'm flashing in the Cathar. I'm just going to play out my hand. Opponent, if opponent's going to sacrifice, they want to sacrifice before combat. Okay, I mean, you're going to die. You're looking at a lot of damage. They have one blocker. I guess opponent could block a first striker. So could opponent block a first striker and then kill one of my other creatures? No, it could have worked, but okay, game over. Boop. I'm trying to see, is there a world in which I didn't put a counter on Karthar Commander Opponent blocks Sigrid, takes th saves three, kills Kothar Commander with the minus one, and then that would have been one, four, five, six, because I would have put the token somewhere else. They still would have been dead. They still would have been dead. Oh, man. Real quick deck tech. Uh, the deck is perfect in every way. If you change a single card out of it, you're a coward. Don't even at me. No, but really, I would probably take out the Shepherd of the Cosmos. I never played her a single time. And Singarian Savior, I think, is just better because you get two creatures instead of one. So take out Shepherd. Probably throw in one more planes. I kind of, I kind of got mana screwed a couple times. So maybe trade a Shepherd for a planes, and it's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because I know I enjoyed making it. Thank you.